All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of our Jacksonville Jaguars practice mini series, so to speak. I am Tuxedo T shirt. Hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. Today, it, uh, our practice scenario is up by three, which means that we have three minutes and boom, just like that. Wesley Woodyard makes the tackle, but the practice team gets a first down. What I was about to say is the practice team has one shot to get a first down in the red zone. They did because they always do. They're the practice team. And uh, and now we got to stop them. <laughs> Hopefully hold them to a field goal, keep the game tied, and then win it. And boom, in the backfield. That is Xavier Gooden, right outside linebacker, and come and brought over last year in a trade uh, from the Tennessee Titans, and he has been dominant here ever since. My goodness. Just a physical freak, and he showed it there, getting into the backfield, blowing up the running back. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead cover two man there are three wide receivers we're quickly gonna let's go let's let's go crash gold so blake's in man coverage and they give it to the running back this time good and can't wrap him up touchdown practice team these guys are just good also uh quick note about today's practice is yesterday's practice was the the week one practice from the nfl season which means that uh, we were missing uh, a few players due to injury. Jesse Williams was out, uh, as was uh, um, Luke Jokel, right tackle, and Eugene Monroe, left tackle. Fortunately for us, Eugene Monroe is back, uh, and Jokel will be back next week along with Williams. However, on the offensive side of the ball last week, maybe putting Delian in there uh, right away with him throwing two picks uh, wasn't the best idea. Maybe we should have... Uh, let him have some time behind all of our offensive line starters. As you can see, number 75, Eugene Monroe, is back. Uh, however, Blaine Gabbard is back in as well. There he makes the five-yard completion of Taylor Thompson. Gabbard is the starter for right now. He will be on a short leash, and I'll be able to tell you guys exactly what's going on uh, with him and the team uh, next Monday um, when, we, uh, when we do our season update, our first of two. Here he goes on the sideline. Drake Haskell cannot stay in bounds. Nice throw there. Haskell just unable to, to keep it in bounds. Um, and let's go ahead here. Let's run the slip screen. We have our third down back, Denard Robinson, uh, who is an incumbent, who was a rookie with the Jaguars in real life. Uh, and here he gets behind a nice wall of offensive linemen, and he takes it up the sideline for a nice gain. 17 yards sometimes, a sweet and simple is all you need. And there... Boom, beautiful play uh, to Robinson, who takes it up the sideline for a nice gain. Um, let's go ahead here, halfback Plass with Mike Hell ashore. By the way, I called him Michael a few times. Apparently it is Mike Hell, not Michael. Uh, whatever. If I don't mispronounce one name, I'm not doing my job. And there he makes a nice move. He breaks free, and he's off to the races, down to the 27-yard line of the practice team. Almost lost his footing, regained it, and wow, what a run. Mike Hell ashore, credit um, the fullback, lead blocker, um, <laughs> Marcel Reese with that one. Unbelievable block he got there. Um, and here out of the backfield is Robinson. He cuts it back in using his speed. Man, he's a speedy little guy. That's a gain of eight yards. We're going to continue to to slow play this. We do not want to give the uh, the practice team any more time than they already uh, will have. Mike Hell sure one of his greatest strengths is his 95 carrying ability. Um, so I'm not concerned, and oh, unfortunately there, he got caught in the backfield. Great, uh, uh, great penetration along the line for the opposing defensive tackle. Wraps up LaShore for a loss of one, and so we're going to have to go to the air here over the middle. Blackman makes the catch, but he drops it. Fourth and three after that drop. A nice pass, but dropped. Let's go ahead, go to the gun. Let's go to the bunch formation. Uh, let's go halfback out. I like this play because it gets LaShore involved. Pardon me. It gets uh, No, it does get LaShore involved in the passing game. Thompson running the quick out. And let's go to LaShore, and he makes the catch. Boom. Good coverage down the field by the practice team. But we find LaShore coming out of the backfield. We get the first down. Let's go Snugs. Bench switch. I'd love to be able to hit Cecil Shorts here on the corner route. We're only going to have time for probably three plays. If this is incomplete, we'll call a timeout. Shorts in the back of the end zone. Did he stay in bounds? He did not. 13 seconds left. 
clock stop. Nice throw there by Blaine Gabbard. Just did, uh, uh, Cecil Shorts was not able to bring it in. Let's let's go ahead, have him run the double move uh, on this play. Let's also get LaShore running the out uh, just so that he gets uh, out in the open field a little more. And up the sideline, Gabbard's going to take this one. Nice carry, seven yards, six seconds left. If we play this correctly, which means uh, throwing this ball awfully quickly, uh, that means we should get a second play here. We should get two straight plays uh, if we're able to uh, incomplete or complete. And there at the goal line, Taylor Thompson incomplete. And so with four seconds left, my goodness, we're going to have to complete a pass to run something, do anything we can to try and get this ball in the end zone. This will be the last play of the practice. Four seconds left. I like this play because it gets LaShore out. It gets Thompson out using their speed. Haskell and Shorts go across on the double drags. Let's uh, let's hit it, folks. Over the middle, Drick Haskell had the ball and then dropped it. Second straight drop at the goal line. Haskell coming over on the drag route, had it in his big old mitts, and then just dropped it. Ouch. And let's make that our thumbnail, shall we? That's disappointing. Drick Haskell. Inexplicable drop with one second left on the clock. And the practice team will have a chance to take a knee. Second straight time this week they've defeated us. Last week they really romped us. This week it's a close one. Jonathan Cyprin, rookie sensation. Our user player for this one, he's in there with Xavier Gooden and company to make the tackle. Not that it means anything. Practice team wins second straight day in a row. Got to hold on to the ball, guys. Two drops in the end zone, and that's how it goes sometimes. We'll see you tomorrow for practice. I'm Tuxedo T-shirt, and I'm out.